My name is Greg Zimmerman. I am a Bachelor of Education student at UBC. I am in the secondary part of the program to teach high school English and also the IB Diploma program. I'm originally from Toronto and a long time ago I went to Queen's University and studied English literature there as well. And upon graduation I realized there was no English factory to go work at and so I followed the lead of a bunch of other friends of mine who graduated and went to Korea to teach. And just with my international experience, I had learned that the IB program is growing worldwide right now. It is a very trending form of education. UBC is very unique. That it is the only university that combines the Bachelor of Education program with the IB certification. So getting experience with it right off the bat to go into the job market seems perfect, whether I want to stay here or go abroad again. One of the big surprises is just the variety of people who are in this program. There's everyone who has just popped out of their undergraduate university. There are people who see like they've, this is maybe their fifth or sixth career change they've gone through. They just feel like it's something they've always wanted to do. And there's people like me who are 30 something and you know, this is just the moment of change for them. It's a lot of different people. I've met some wonderful people doing this. So. My practicum is at Richmond Secondary School in Richmond. And it's been great. We have, for our faculty advisor, we have the retired head of the IB program there, so he's been a wonderful wealth of knowledge, really encouraging to all of us. The practicum has taught me to have faith in myself a lot, I think. I can sometimes have a bit of self-doubt. I'm like, am I doing the best to reach students? And I think I can worry a bit too much. I figure what I've learned from this is if you just focus on the students and see, you just look in their eyes, you can tell what they need. In that moment, you know, don't worry about yourself. Just do what you need to do for them. And I think that's one of the most important things I've learned so far. I've had some really good teaching experiences there for the short practicum. Even just doing things that I think would be terribly boring, like grammar lessons for grade nines or tens, have gone really well. And the students seem to just respond very well and want to know more, which who'd have thought? So we have a three week community field experience, which is a very vague term because it can be so many different things. Uh, it's a three-week experience that is just completely different from a practicum. It can be anything from volunteering in local gardens or museums here, to teaching at a different school, to going to orphanages, to going abroad. And I, since I seem to like international things, I said, oh, I could do that. And so I gave them a resume and there was a few schools, one in Colombia, one in Italy, Georgia, and El Salvador, I believe. And within a few days, I heard back that the school in Bogota, Colombia said they wanted me to come on down there. So, so I want to see this global international mindedness all out in play in front of me. I want to see just a different crop of students. It's always good to see new kids, no matter what. That first day of class is always fun. I think this community field experience is going to bring the international into the International Baccalaureate program for me.